Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. Lori just came to get me because we had a little bit of an emergency here and it comes from this girl here, which by the way is a beautiful California king snake. I mean, look at the stripe on this one. But this little monkey right here, literally Lori had to pull this egg out of her mouth. You can see it's deflated. There's some hole punctures in it. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to save this egg, but the good news is the rest of the clutch looks good and it doesn't look like she ate anything else. Doesn't happen often maybe once or twice a year we'll find a female for some reason eating her eggs. No clue what mother nature is thinking when bad mamas like this decide to eat their clutch of eggs. I've had it happen where literally I've seen the last egg going down in her gullet and be like, oh my God, I lost the clutch. The good news is the rest of this clutch looks pretty good. So I'm gonna actually take this clutch, but I have to set up some egg boxes for incubation before I can set these guys up. And then we might as well pull the rest of the colubrid clutches for the day. So really crisis diverted. The worst thing that happened is maybe we lost one egg, but I don't know what you were thinking, mama. Just for those of you guys that are wondering why I put tape on here, obviously it's just to write. You can see I used to write with a dry erase or Sharpie on this, but it uh, pretty quickly made me realize that I was gonna eventually run out of room. And then it got a little confusing when I went from this year to this year to this year to this year. Like what clutch was in there? So I started putting tape on them now. I write on the tape. This happened about five, six years ago. And at the end of the year, I just ripped the tape off and I can replace the tape next year. Just a little uh, hack if you're breeding snakes. Back to the egg eating monster here. Of course, this is a most mosaic cal king, but it's one that has that big wide stripe down its back. As a matter of fact, we used to call these tire track cal kings. I don't know why we stopped calling them, to be honest with you, because it almost looks like it's a big tire track down its back. And this is the more classic mosaic. This was what they typically look like. That's more of a striped animal. But thankfully, again, we really were excited about this particular pairing. So I'm glad we didn't lose the whole clutch, but of course we may lose that one egg. I'm just gonna go ahead and see what the rest of this clutch looks like. This clump looks really good. These guys will candle just because they rolled around and the good chances are is that as she was thinking about eating the one egg sometimes they'll actually pierce other eggs so I don't see anything draining from those other eggs which is good I'm going to candle this one too and again I'll put it in here and sometimes that albumin that yolk type stuff will actually seal holes and there's a chance it could still survive but it looked like she got all the way down to about here with her mouth because you could kind of see the saliva still on the actual egg itself so there might not be saving this one but uh but hey in the meantime we did save two, four, six, eight other good eggs, nine eggs total. Guess what? Look who's not in the water today. Of course, we've got Ivy over here on land in the back. And I find that she actually comes out on land when she's hunting, right? So she just shed out, she's probably hungry again. So she's over here hunting way in the back and looking so sneaky back there. So uh, maybe we'll thaw some food out for her tomorrow and see if we can feed her. I actually have an idea what I wanna try to feed her. I just don't know if I can get it. So uh, fingers crossed I can figure that out. If not, we'll just thaw out a little pig or something like that. But again, this is a small meal for the next probably three or four meals for her. Take a look at guys. Oh my gosh, my girl Sunrise, she shed out and she looks absolutely incredible. And I love the fact that it looks like she has a complete big piece shed right here. That's not something that I get from her often. Oh, and look at this. She gift wrapped the turd. Very nice. Thanks, Sunrise. I appreciate you. Look at how gorgeous she looks though. Oh my gosh. And again, a beautiful shed here. One long piece. And that means that we're finally starting to dial in the humidity. It's something we've been working on since we really opened the Reptarium. It's trying to dial in humidity with these guys. There's this fine line between having it too humid where there's going to have some issues with maybe fungal and stuff like that and having it not humid enough where they shed in a lot of pieces. So big snakes oftentimes shed in pieces just because of weight and stuff like that. But when you can get the humidity right, at least you have a better chance. Sunrise looks absolutely incredible. Come over here, girl. You look so amazing. Look at this beautiful animal. She is definitely going to be ready for a meal as well. So we'll thaw out some stuff for her in the next day or two. And like I said, it is funny when a snake does that, where they literally poop inside their shed like that. So uh, the good news is, is I don't have to clean up a mess. I just take this over to the garbage can and dump it. So thank you, Sunrise. 
guys, you're potty trained now. Back to some eggs, but interestingly enough, I was thinking about why would that female eat her eggs like that? And when I was handling, and by the way, this is a lavender cow king that's het for snow. And of course that lavender snow is like a solid purple snake. Mama, you did really good. And so, you know, I was thinking, you know, is she just hungry? Is there something more to it? Interestingly enough, the whole clutch seemed to candle good. When you candle an animal, you want to see that kind of cool embryo, the air bubble. When I got to the egg she was eating, it was actually a little bit off. It didn't look the same, like the blood dot was bigger, like it was maybe a bad egg. So that brings me to the point that maybe she was eating that egg knowing that it didn't have any chance of hatching. I mean, it's amazing how nature works that way. And I think there's a good chance that might be the case because all the other eggs in the clutch that I candled looked perfect. And that one definitely looked like it was not gonna make it. And this two, four, six, seven good eggs from this lavender cow king. But again, uh, I just think it's amazing how much we don't know about how smart these animals are. And uh, again, mother nature is always surprising me. So guys, I gotta tell you something. I know it's gonna be something that Lori's gonna be upset because she doesn't want a million emails. But the truth is, is that I am considering hiring an animal educator here at the Reptarium. I realize we're not open right now, but we're doing a lot of virtual tours. I'm doing them all right now, and that's gonna be that way for quite some time. But I think when we open up again, we may stick with the virtual tours, just maybe with an animal educator doing them, and, and knock the price down to even a more affordable price. Not to mention, I've talked about wanting to launch the five minute tours and the 10 minute tours. I think an animal educator could help with that. Not to mention if we have other things we need. So if you are an animal educator, that can be high energy, super exciting, educated, just like love reptiles. Send your resumes to info at reptarium.com. I know Lori's gonna love that. Send your resumes to info at reptarium.com. Preferably, we'd like someone to not have to relocate, but we would consider anything. We just want someone that's gonna be a really great character, really high energy, super into educating like I am. So uh, if you're into that, go ahead, send your resumes and we'll see what we can do. Oh my gosh, Jay brought his little Irish wolfhound in puppy. Oh my gosh. I love this little dude. You are the cutest little dude in the world. This is actually one of my favorite dogs ever. Irish wolfhounds. These things are huge. They literally, I mean, like standing up, they're like seven foot tall. Yeah. The, they're the biggest dog in the world, right? As yeah, far the as tallest. Line, tallest yep. dog in the world. She is, how old? Uh, nine weeks old yesterday. Nine weeks old, oh my God. That thing is adorable. Oh no, like what's <laughs> happening? Good boy. <laughs> I think I got a new puppy. I think I got a new puppy. Yes, oh my I do. God. I got a puppy. So today I decided to spend my break time with Matilda and the other tortoises. I have a bunch of veggies for them and an orange for myself, so we're gonna cut this stuff up and hop in the pen. some ball python eggs. This is actually a pastel ghost ball python and it's actually bred to a champagne het for ghosts. So I'll show you that in a second here. Uh, looks like we have a couple little sluggers here and we've got a couple good eggs. It's okay mama. I'll go ahead and take these eggs out really quick. Get three good eggs out here. And then again, it looks like we've got two little sluggers. Again, we'll go ahead, clean that animal up, get her all ready to go. She should be good to go. Again, three eggs isn't exactly a banger of a clutch by any stretch, but she's bred to this animal here, which is a champagne heifer ghost. So I could get pastel mimosas. So the champagne 
orange ghosts are actually a mimosa and then of course it's a pastel as well so we could get mimosas we could get pastel mimosas we could even get pastel champagnes and champagnes hat for ghosts if that makes sense regardless three eggs are uh, good to go and we have one more clutch to pull today now this next clutch is actually pretty interesting here this is of course is just a really pretty pinstripe and it looks like mama's on a very nice clutch of eggs but this girl is also hat for ghosts the male i bred her to is pretty awesome here's that male this is actually a chocolate mahogany that is hat for ghosts so we could get all kinds of different stuff from chocolates to mahoganies to pinstripes combinations thereof and then all potentially ghosts so this is a beautiful male love this thing and then mixing into that female should be pretty good so let's go ahead and pull that clutch and here we go it looks like mama is ready to roll oh mama whoa calm down girl it's okay whoo i tell you what that girl was on fire but this is a huge clutch of eggs i'm going to try to get them out of here before mama goes crazy on me here and these are as fresh as could be as a matter of fact this egg right here hasn't even started to harden up at all i mean literally that was probably laid within the last 10 15 minutes tops that is a huge clutch of eggs we've got two four six eight ten beautiful eggs i tell you what that is going to be amazing and again some absolutely incredible potential combos it's i tell you what it is going to be such an exciting year hat season i can't even tell you how crazy it's going to be so again 57 days from now we are going to be cutting this clutch as a matter of fact for those of you guys that are feeding for egg cutting right now i'll put a card right here for some egg cutting for you guys but hey i tell you what that is an awesome python clutch It's crazy how quick that happens. I mean, we are now up to 22 ball python clutches in the incubator. Crazy because it seems like we just got our first ball python clutch just the other day and we're already up to 22 clutches, but we still have, I don't know, 150 something females to go for the year. Kind of an interesting egg day because this is actually an aberrant cow king female. You can see she just has kind of a, she doesn't have a banded pattern, but she's not a banana cow king. But uh, again, another weird story behind this animal. She ate her male. That's right. It happens. It's not common but every now and then maybe once a year I'll have a cow king eat the male sure enough she did so we've had a snake that ate its egg and now we've had a snake that ate its male that laid eggs today which is pretty interesting but this looks like a really beautiful clutch again that girl wasn't a really big girl and wow there are a lot of eggs in here I'm gonna have to candle all these eggs because they're all really loose and that usually tells me that she's probably rolled them around like you see these two are stuck together and that's the reason why snake eggs get stuck together again it's just so that they don't roll around you know if they're stuck together like this it's going to be harder for those eggs to roll as opposed to one that's not that rolls around really easy nevertheless a beautiful clutch here we've got two four six eight beautiful eggs from uh, the female that ate her date you guys know that I work with Universal Rocks on all these amazing enclosures, the walls, everything else like that. I've told you guys before, I'm just a huge supporter of the company. They're amazing. They've helped me out so much. You can get all kinds of stuff like water bowls, backdrops, whatever the case may be, branches, you name it. I'm going to put a link in the description, universalrocks.com. Use the promo code REPTARIUM, all caps, and you save 10%. That's right. And I'm just trying to help out a company I really believe in. Without Universal Rocks, the Reptarium wouldn't have happened. So you can and get your own little mini reptarium at universalrocks.com promo code reptarium save yourself 10 percent all right guys last colubrid clutch for the day this is actually an apricot pueblin milk snake apricot apricot however you pronounce that uh, i don't know down in the comments you can tell me if i'm wrong i call it apricot but maybe it's apricot or maybe i call it apricot in its apricot i don't know regardless it's a pueblin milk snake and a beautiful clutch of eggs who doggy i tell you what that thing is amazing you gotta love beautiful clutches like that that just look good right they're all stuck together they're pearly white they're just absolutely amazing two four six eight good eggs i tell you what today was actually a really good day for colubrid eggs i mean yeah we had some weird ones with the mom eating the egg and the one eating her boyfriend but nevertheless all in all a pretty good colubrid day always crazy when i find a mom snake eating her eggs i mean how weird is that if you enjoyed this video this is a playlist of a bunch of snake eggs uh you guys can just roll through if you want you can also support my podcast right up in this corner you can subscribe it's called checking i really do appreciate it over here you can subscribe to the vlog channel turn those post notifications on have an absolutely wonderful day remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you guys tomorrow